Well, hello, everybody. In just a few days, two very talented football teams are going to take the field in Pasadena to find out who will be the 2014 Rose Bowl champion. But today, at the Disneyland Resort, they leave their helmets and their shoulder pads behind and they celebrate a season of competition and achievement that's been great for both of these teams. Now, we have many special guests here this afternoon. And given we are right here in front of the castle, I think it seems fitting to start out with our royalty. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome the newly crowned 2014 Tournament of Roses Royal Court. Give them a hand. Now, please introduce you have to go. Okay, I'm going to let you do this one by one, ladies, because you're so fabulous here. May I please introduce Miss Sarah Hansen, Miss Kayla Johnson Granberry, Miss Jamie Kwong, Miss Catherine Lip, Miss Alicia Wajaja, Miss Elizabeth Wolf, and of course, our 2014 Rose Queen, Miss Anna Acosta. Now, like all of you, I am a huge college football fan, and I love the excitement, I love the rivalries, and I love the traditions that have made this sport so special to all the fans across the country. And of course, I especially love it when my alma mater, Stanford University, makes it to the Rose Bowl twice in a row. Now, I also love the long-standing tradition that is special to all of us here at the Disneyland Resort. And that, of course, is to honor our friends for the Tournament of Roses and introduce the teams participating in this year's Rose Bowl. This tradition ties all the way back to our founder, Walt Disney, who hosted the first visit by Rose Bowl teams all the way back in 1959. Now this year we have two outstanding teams, Stanford and Michigan State, who are going to be going from here, the happiest place on earth, to the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl. All right, that's worth it. That's worth it. Now, this legendary game is part of the Tournament of Roses, which of course includes everybody's morning favorite, the Rose Parade. And I'm sure Walt himself would have appreciated the theme of this year's Rose Parade, Dreams Come True. And now, it's my great pleasure to welcome the president of the Tournament of Roses, Scott Jenkins. Scott? <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Good afternoon, everyone. It's a real honor for me to serve as president of the Tournament of Roses. As you can imagine, it takes a team of dedicated volunteers, actually nearly 1,000 strong, to carry on the great Tournament of Roses traditions. As we celebrate our 125th year of the Rose Parade, our theme this year is Dreams Come True. And you will see the dreams of many, many float designers and builders come true when the parade hits the streets on New Year's Day. Another dream come true, especially for the two teams we're honoring today, is the Rose Bowl game, which turns 100 this year, the granddaddy of them all. And a special thanks to Walt Disney for his vision of inviting Rose Bowl teams to visit the Disneyland Resort. Michael, thank you so very much for having us here today as together we make yet another special memory. Thanks, Scott. And now it's time to celebrate the two outstanding college football teams who have earned the right to play in the 100th annual Rose Bowl game. Our first team is making its 14th appearance in the Rose Bowl. In fact, they played in the very first Rose Bowl, which happened all the way back in 1902. Their victory over Arizona State in the Pac-12 Finals got them here today 
for their second consecutive trip to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the head coach of my alma mater, Stanford's David Shaw. David? <laughs> Thank you. Well, we at the Stanford Cardinal are very excited to be here. Uh, once again, uh, they asked me to, to, to mention a memory. It's so hard. I grew up, come, come to this beautiful place, and every time it's different. Um, we were here a year ago, but once again, this place changes so much. It's so exciting. Uh, we're excited to bring our players. Uh, we have our, our four captains and our leading rusher, Tyler Gaffney. Defensive lineman, Ben Gardner. I didn't tell him to do that. Uh, outside linebacker, Trent Murphy. He's got the Disney wave down. Inside linebacker, Shane Scove. Offensive lineman, David Yankee. Once again, we're very grateful to be here. We're excited to be here. We'll take advantage of all that Disney has to offer today, and then tomorrow we'll get to work. Nice to see you. Thanks, Coach Shaw. Now our next team recently upstepped Ohio State University in the Big Ten Championship. What a game was that? Oh, i got a few fans over here. Uh, and they are now earning their first trip to Pasadena since 1988, and it is great to have everyone from Michigan State back here in California. Welcome here. Now, leading up to this, Michigan State won nine straight games in what's going to be their fifth Rose Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please help me welcome up here the head coach of the Michigan State University Spartans, Mark D'Antonio. Mark? <laughs> Thanks for having the Spartans here. I can still remember uh, being at Disney uh, back when my girls were four and three and, and spending that time with Cinderella dancing there uh, on, the, uh, on the parade. So it's a special time to be here. We brought uh, Jack Allen, offensive lineman, with us. Tyler Ellsworth. Bo Finotti from California. Tyler Hoover, and our punter Mike Sadler. It's great to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Coach D'Antonio. Now, I hear Michigan State brought their athletic director with you. If there's one way to win me over, it's by being a huge Disney fan. Now, get this. As I understand it, Michigan State's athletic director, Mark Hollis. Mark, where are you? 
Stand up, Mark. Stand up, Mark. Mark has visited Disney, he told me, about 320, 27 times. And I would like to welcome you back for your 328th. Great to have you here. Now, we hope both of these great teams, hope you guys have an outstanding day at Disneyland. This is the day to have fun, have a great time, and then get down to business, I know. We can't wait to see this game played out and to celebrate your inspiring performances and coaching that we've had this season of these two great teams. We have a commemorative keepsake for each of them. Coach Shaw and Coach D'Antonio, would you please join me up here? We would like to present each team with a gift that commemorates the visit here at the Disneyland Resort, and we hope both you and the players continue to pursue your dreams on the field, off the field, and no matter what, make sure you all keep inspiring all the people that look up to you. you got big responsibility on your shoulders, guys, and I, I hope you continue to deliver on that as you have been. Congratulations to everybody. We'll see you all at the Rose Bowl.